Last year, Tom Brady bought a minority stake in the Las Vegas Raiders. And, I mean, for what it usually is, I think on our all, all of our responses was, okay, you know, obviously uh, Tom Brady's a legend, uh, definitely the GOAT. Um, and I, honestly, I thought it would really definitely help the Raiders elevate their brand um, just in terms of getting back to the Super Bowl, winning Super Bowls, uh, establishing a culture, right? Well, I don't think it necessarily stops there. Now, there's been a lot of rumors swirling around that Tom Brady could make a second appearance to the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, there's a couple reasons that we think this could be entirely possible. Number one, Tom Brady uh, is all about his reputation. He's all about winning and everything. Um, but I do think that a big part of his reputation is the fact that he didn't have to win with Bill Belichick, right? Like he won, what was it, six Super Bowls with the Patriots uh, and during his career and then went to the Buccaneers and uh, won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers, uh, beating the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. So part of his legacy, like, okay, I don't need Tom Brady to, or excuse me, I don't need Bill Belichick to win Super Bowls. That's part of it. I think part of it could be that, is going to yet another team, winning another Super Bowl with Devonta Adams, who, by the way, has been a little bit, uh, he, he's been very supportive. Like, he, he definitely wants to play with Tom Brady, came out um, a little bit earlier. And so, like, I, I think essentially, I don't know if it holds any weight, but I think that first part of it is, is there's great players on the Raiders, and I think that, uh, you know, for, for Tom Brady, it is about the fact, maybe it could be about not having to prove or trying to prove that yet he doesn't need. But at the same time, he's really done that in his career already. Like, I don't think he has anything to prove to anybody. Um, you know, and so I don't think it really has anything to do with it. Number two, I think, is the fact that it's so hard for NFL players to play their entire career. I mean, we've seen it with Jason Kelsey. We've seen it with uh, countless other NFL players that, you know, even Brett Favre is another one. I know uh, and playing the same position as Brady, but I think it's incredibly hard for these players to give up their legacy or give up playing a game that they have perfected, that they have put their blood, sweat, and tears into for a long time. And so, you know, I think that it could be a little bit of, you know, just missing the olden days. Maybe he sees something in Aiden O'Connell, you know, being a minority stake owner. I think that this could be something that, you know, maybe he could teach on to O'Connell. And I think that's, we'll get into that in a second, you know. Um, but I do think that a lot of it kind of comes back to the fact that, you know, it's really hard to give up this game. I mean, I love the game of football, but can you imagine what guys like Tom Brady, uh, you know, Josh Jacobs, all those guys, Devontae Adams, like uh, Max Crosby, those guys that just really, really love the game. Like, it's so hard to give up something like that. And I think that it could be a, a spot where maybe he just doesn't want to give that up. So I definitely understand that side of it too. Number three, as a minority stake owner, I think maybe part of this could be to help kind of the quarterback situation and the bridge situation because you've got guys like Gardner Mitch, you've got guys like Aiden O'Connell. Maybe this could be a reason that, you know, if he does decide to come back, maybe it is more of a reason to either A, teach the rookies, this is like 3A, if you will, to teach the rookies, uh, or excuse me, teach Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew, or really be that stopgap player in between them uh, and still teach those guys in the meantime. Because I'm not saying, and we, we, we talked about this early in the offseason, I'm not saying that Aiden O'Connell is Tom Brady by any means, but if there was anybody going to be like Aiden O'Connell, like, to be like Tom Brady, I, I would argue it is Aiden O'Connell because, you know, he came in... Um, not necessarily getting a chance and opportunity to start. Then the starting quarterback went down. Um, didn't necessarily make the most of it. Maybe more was more of a game manager. Played with a really good defense down the stretch uh, when Josh McDaniels left. And I think that there's strangely a lot of similarities. Gardner Minshew, you could also probably make the comparison there. But Gardner Minshew, I mean, he had his opportunity to start in the NFL. And who knows, maybe he could continue being that guy. But I do think that a little bit of this could be that, you know, Tom Brady is he's as much of a teacher as he is a player. And I think that as a minority stake owner, it could be to do that is teach the younger guys as well. Um, and, you know, I, I think a lot of this goes into a decision like this. Um, do I think now, do I honestly think that Tom Brady is going to come out of retirement after seven Super Bowls, enjoying his time off, uh, you know, and just living his best life? I doubt it. But I think that for those three main reasons, I think that there is, I, if anything is possible. And, you know, I think it would really obviously help out the Raiders. Uh, I don't think that he would be the same, you know, 40 touchdowns, seven interceptions like Tom Brady uh, or, or good player that he was when he retired with the Bucks. But I, I do think that he could definitely be an upgrade or at the very least teach uh, the Raiders quarterbacks, the current quarterbacks on the roster. So, but at the end of the day, let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, and we'll see you on the next video.